create uh, actions of change, but be the change. If there are problems in, in the community, try to be the change. Make the change happen. Volunteer, serve, learn the culture, and make a difference in people's lives. That's the true da'wah, and that's the true change. Number four, companionship and community. Companionship and community makes a better you. Teaches you to overcome the obstacle of the inner self. To be patient with those whom God said, be patient with those who remember God day and night. And you can become a true servant of God and manage successfully how to combine both rigor and compassion. Last, number five, one rule. Positive attitude, positive attitude. And never say, I don't have time. Because only closeness of Allah can give you the barakah in time that cannot be measured. Cannot be measured. Some people say, how can you do this and this and this and that? It's called the barakah. The blessing of God that puts in your time so you can manage all those responsibilities and give you the support so you can brave the obstacle. Freedom of religion is one of our rights. You and I, as Americans, we should know it and take full advantage of it. It's our rights, it's not a privilege. No one is going to give us that. We have it. It's guaranteed. And add to this the right for speech. I have no excuse not to promote Islam. The Constitution guarantees me this right of speaking my mind. This is America. You can integrate, you can interact, you can contribute to strengthening this unity that George, that Abraham Lincoln fought for and be truly an American at the same time a Muslim. There is no contradiction between the two. Islam is a message of mercy, message of peace. It's a humble, true submission to your Lord, the Lord of love, the Lord of mercy, the Almighty, Azza wa Jalla. And I am in America, a lot of stereotyping, a lot of misinformation about Islam, a lot of attacks on Muslims. So what do I do? It's too much. There is nothing too much for Allah to have. Absolutely. There is no challenge big for Allah to have. To overcome. There is no difficulty to so hard for Allah Ta'ala to ease. There is no time for Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to not give you. He is the one who controls time. He is the one who creates everything and controls everything and can do anything and everything. So what is your intention? And your intention should be always to please your Lord. To make Him satisfied with you. To strengthen your connection with Him. And because of that, He will show you the way. And pave the way for you. And prepare the environment for you. And ease everything for you. And give you time and all the support you need to overcome any challenge. Our ultimate goal in this life is not Jannah. Our ultimate goal in this life is the pleasure and the face, the contemplation of the face of Allah Azza wa Jalla. First and foremost, other goals that go with that are Jannah. We should ask for Jannah, ask for Firdaus, which is the highest place in Jannah. 
And my identity and your identity should be a representative of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this land called America. We cannot be role models as Muslim Americans if we do not make positive change. If we do not contribute significantly to the betterment of our country so that people can see the greatness of Islam, the beauty of Islam.